Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hope everybody's doing good. <laughs> Today we're doing another Wheel of Time video. This time, which is going to be the Knife of Dreams. And unlike the other novels, there's a lot that happens in this lo novel. Um, first, we'll start off with Rand, who in this one, he loses a hand to Simiraj. And uh, I think it's all men's fault. <laughs> Do you think it's men's fault? I don't know. I guess if men didn't want to come, if men didn't come, you wouldn't have lost it. Yeah. If he was... wouldn't have been like, I rock fire with my bare hands. Yeah, he wouldn't have to protect her. And she does kind of blame herself after this. But she's so stubborn that she keeps on saying, you know, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. Kind of in the past. And that Rand's being overprotective. Yeah, and it's just like, hey, what are you going to do when somebody's stronger than he got? Yeah. And so, this is the one where they capture Simiraj. Okay. And, uh, she was pretending to be Tuon in this one. And this is also, she kind of gave Tuon, uh, life trouble because you got people trying to find her and kill Tuon, thinking that Tuon's, uh, the fake, uh, but she's a fake, um, mm. that she's fake, <laughs> basically. Um, so, yeah, so he captures a Simiraj and loses a hand, and then, uh, we find... He feels nothing about it. He's just like, oh, well. Yeah. Well, yeah, first, because I think it's because of the adrenaline rush. No, I mean, he just doesn't care. Yeah. Yeah, this is the part where we see Rand starting to not care about things, try to hide, uh, feelings of pain and stuff like that. Also, uh, one thing we forgot to mention in the last video is that at the last video, in the last book of Crossless of Twilight, Seguin got captured, and so her uh, torment begins in the knife of tw not, uh, in the knife of dreams as Elida is trying to break her um, to get her to say that she's not the Armalin, and she gets daily beatings <laughs> and uh, a good dose of. Uh, Fork root. Fork root. And well, if you don't know, fork root is what kind of suppresses the power, the, the ability to use the one power type thing. And uh, this is where we see Egwene kind of really step up and become a leader. And also where all her training from the IU has come yeah. to play. As she's uh, able to accept these punishments and this humiliation with dignity and overcome it. And stuff. And then good old Matt and Tuvon. They get hitched at the end. Uh, what did you feel? How did you feel about them getting married at the end? Tuvon and Matt? Yeah. Uh, I thought it was funny. Thought it was funny? Yeah, the way Matt was just like, no, please, no! Yeah. This can't be happening. Yeah, he's like, he knew it was coming sooner or later. But he just doesn't mean yes to like it. Right. And uh, I think he was kind of surprised at the timing that it happened. Yeah, he's just like, what? Yeah, I think he was thinking, I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it. And then all of a sudden... Tawn's just like, ha, 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 no, yeah. you're not. Yeah, she says the remaining vowels that you need to say. Which is, um... um I'm, Matt is my, my bloody husband. husband. Yeah, Matt my, is my bloody husband. Matt is my bloody my, husband. And then they're married. Well, she didn't say bloody the whole time. She said Matt Contran is my husband. No, that's, and then at the end she says Matt. Is, oh yeah, is because my that's bloody. what she said. Yeah, that's what he said yeah, too. Yeah, so to, I guess she has to repeat. repeat yeah, it she the has same to repeat the him. same way he did it. Yeah, I thought that was really funny. Just like. Yep. What is in my pocket? And then they uh, money, 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 <laughs> and then they get, then they get separated. And, I don't know, I guess I was kind of surprised that they got to, I, I expected them to be together through the rest of the series, so I was a little surprised that kinda, they got separated. I was kind of disappointed. Yeah. It seems like all the couples in this book don't ever stay together for very long. Yeah, they get separated so, for, for periods of Besides time. Perrin and Fayil, they were together for a while, but Bear Lane was just like, I'm gonna make your marriage. Yeah. It's a crappy one. We'll talk about them in a moment. What was but, I gonna say? I was gonna say something else. But like the two, the chapters with Tuon and Matt were pretty good. They got good, like the two characters had good yeah, chemistry together. Tuon was like, I don't understand this guy. I thought he was just a toy, but no, he's a general too. He's a spy-like character. Yeah. He could, 
he fits in with everything. She's she's like, she's like, he fit in so well with being a toy. Yeah. But now he fits in so well in this and this and this and this and like. Yep. Who is this guy? Yeah, this this is the book that he really starts to impress two on, <coughs> and she really starts to like appreciate like him for his abilities that he can do, and which was pretty good. Yeah, those two characters this is like the like, first time that's ever happened. Everyone else is just like, oh, Matt's just a a mm -hmm. playboy and a he's a player and all this kind of stuff, and I'm just like, yeah, 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 this is totally right. Yeah. Like he's had maybe two casualties every three battles. <laughs> Yeah, well, and I think th those two characters work together because they're perfect yin and yang type of yin thing. Yin they yin. contrast each other because she's all prep, she's all proper and everything. And, yeah. and he's just like, all right, I get I, things I'm done, gonna, and I don't care how I do it as long as it gets done with uh, minimal casualty. I'm gonna throw a wrench in everybody's plan. Yep. <laughs> and then, uh, then yeah, we got, except that wrench usually ends up fixing everything. Yes. Instead. Right. And then we have Perrin and. Uh, Fails that storyline, finally gets finished in this one, and, and boy did Perrin get mad. Yeah, so yeah, he and we see here that Perrin's adaptable, that he actually is able, to, he joins the alliance with the Sanchen in order. Yeah, as long as he got Fayo back, he's fine. Yeah, and uh, we see also the how the Sanchen aren't so rigged that they're also willing to work with other people in this book. Yeah, uh, we get to meet uh, that general. Um, what's the Tai, yep, I like Ty. her. Yeah, I like her a lot. I like when she's in the in the story. Yeah, I like that nice. character. She's a nice character. Yep. Um, so that was a pretty good battle. We got to see the wolves a little bit, and then um, we got finally to see Galena get her uppins for Everything. being a black Aja and stuff, and uh, that was. I mean, I feel kind of bad for her, but I don't at the same time. Because mm. just like you know, you did this to a lot of people. Uh huh. And uh, you know, karma basically karma. for what her. What comes around goes around. And that's right. What you get, once what you, you uh, dish out, you, sometimes you receive. You're like, yeah. once you put, when you put something out, you better watch out because it's gonna come right back around and smack you in the ear. That's right. Um, let's see. Oh, then finally, uh, Elaine finally gets the throne. She finally, uh, seals oh, the deal there. Boy. Does and, that inspire a downfall? Yeah. Well, she gets, because of her stubbornness, she gets captured by Black Aja again. And doesn't care. Yeah. Because, you know, she's immortal. Right. Now. But that, everybody around her isn't, and yeah. everybody else dies around her. Yeah, she's just like, she doesn't take into consideration that everyone else is just like, all right, we normal people, we don't, we don't yeah. fit into the pattern like you do. Right. Yeah, we don't have the reassurances that men that we're going to survive yeah, like Birgit, you do. Birgit's just like, seriously, you got to stop doing this. And she's yeah. just like, why? I'm going to be fine until my babies are born. Right. And everyone else is just reading the book is just like, yeah, but they're not. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And you always get everybody in. Everyone's always dying. Even before she became queen, everywhere she went just went up in flames. Yeah, destruction awaited. She was when she was following the Black Aja. Anywhere she went with Nynaeve, the place just went downhill so fast. And Nynaeve even began to notice it and was just like, ah. Yeah. Huh. Maybe we're not so good Maybe at we're this. We're not so least. good at this yeah. after all. Like everyone yeah. just keeps dying. Yeah. And yeah. I'm just like, no, you're pretty good at it. The only one who isn't is Elaine. Elaine's the one, yeah. And we can see definitely why she's getting the throne. And from here on out, like, Elaine causes a lot of well, times more, give her your prayers, more damage and good. Yeah, give her your prayers, everyone. She'll need a lot of them. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, I enjoyed this. This is probably the better books of the last three. This is when the series, to me, starts to take off, starts to be good again. Are really good again, I should say, because uh, it finally ended all the boring storylines, sort of, you know. Uh, and starting new ones, and going in the White Tower, that's a good storyline. Berlin and her and and playboy, playgirl ways. Yeah, that starts to end. That's ended. Ish. We get Fayo and Perrin back together. And then we get to... Uh, I'll call a truce until we find your wife. And parents like, we don't need that. I yeah. don't even know why you would want that. Just stop. Yeah. And so then we got... And then Rand starts his dark path for Anakin the next book. Skywalker. 
Yeah, in the next book. Oh, what we call the Anakin Skywalker storyline. He, lost, for his, he lost his hand, went dark and everything. Yeah. And just like, yeah, that's, that's yeah. Anakin. We'll talk about that more in the next book. We hope you enjoyed this video. Everybody have a great day and bye. Bye.